Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe from uh, SpreadsheetSchoolDFS.com and Excel by Joe. In uh, this video, I'm going to take game logs and go through and show you how to uh, determine ballpark effects over the last uh, two years. So I've got two years of game logs here, 2017 and 2018. And I've got um, all the, the different stats here. we got FanDuel points. And what I want to do is create a chart right here with all the like the home teams and I want to see for a number of runs scored and also with fantasy points and in addition just to that I want to also break it out into some other uh, a little more specific things like how they do on the road and, and so on so the first step what we got to do oh before we before I start this um, if you haven't subscribed yet so click the subscribe button down below and uh, like like the video if you if you like it and uh, okay so let's let's go through here so we've got all the stats here and here we go so we've got all the game logs here's the team playing that, that he's on and the opponent and whether they're home or on the road so what we need to do is make a formula to pick which is the home team so it's a pretty simple formula here so we can just see it right up here if Oops, what happened there? Parentheses. So we're going to check if this says that he's home, then this is the home team. Otherwise, if it doesn't, then this is the home team. So it's just a pretty simple formula there. And let's see, why is it? Oops, if J2 equals quote home. I don't know where that part went. Then it's H2, otherwise I2. So it's checking here if this equals home, then we, we do the team that he's on, otherwise we do the opponent. So then we just press enter, and we scroll over here, so then here it is. So the San Diego Padres are the home team. See, and if we look, see San Diego, the venue's at home for AJ Ellis, so then it obviously means his team, the Padres, are at home. So we need to get this before we can actually start filling in our chart. So on the, as far as the game logs, you can get the game logs in a couple different places. I'll, I'll put a link down below. I like to get them from BigBallData.com. Uh, the link is down below. Where to, um, you can get them there. Uh, but if you wanted to get them uh, for free, you can co you can copy and paste them. It just takes a little bit of time to do all that. But you can get them um, from BaseballReference.com. So what I did, I just copy this down. So now we've got all the home teams here. What I'm going to do, just to get rid of the formulas, I like to get rid of the formulas. I just do copy, paste special values. So now we've got all the home teams here. So this is the um, what we're going to be looking at, who, who the home team is, and uh, we're going to look at the FanDuel points. So let's go over to the stadiums. So I already did this part. I took all the home teams, or I just got all the teams, and I just pasted them over here. It's just one of each one. And let's see how many runs scored in these two years at each uh, ballpark, or whoever, whoever, wherever the home team is. So to do that, we're going to do a formula called sum ifs. It's called sum ifs, parentheses. So what this is going to do, it's gonna, what's the sum range? We're going to total up the runs scored so right here or right here column n is run so I'm going to highlight the whole column and then what's the next is criteria one so the cri first criteria is the home team here's the home team and everywhere let's go back to here everywhere where it says Arizona Diamondbacks it's going to sum up column, column n. So put n in parentheses. We could have just done sum if. We didn't need the s. Sum ifs gives you a multiple criteria, but we're only going to do the one criteria for now. So this is how many runs were scored. 1,478 runs were scored when Arizona Diamondbacks were the home team over these two years. I'll double-click to copy it down. So as you can see, it looks like the Rockies, of course, the more runs are scored there. Uh, let's do the same thing, but let's do for fantasy points. 
So we're going to do the same formula, sum ifs. And this time the range that we're, we're copying is FanDuel. I'm doing FanDuel points, comma. And then we're going to highlight the whole, the home team again, comma. And put Arizona Diamondbacks again. So this is how many FanDuel points to score, 28,000. Because, I mean, it's probably going to correlate pretty much with runs scored. But it it's just another uh, stat just to check. And the final one is let's you got to see at bats because there may have been a lot more at bats or some of these or maybe they had extra games. So let's uh, do it one more time. We'll do some ifs. And the sum range this time is actually, let's see. There it is, at bats. Or actually, there's PA. Here's plate appearances. So I'd rather do plate appearances, comma. And then the home team, comma, and Arizona Diamondbacks. So now there's 11,870 plate appearances. So now what we're going to do is just get a formula to see how many runs per plate appearance there were. Because see, if you look, I mean, there were under 12,000 in Arizona, but there was 13,000 in Boston. So there are a lot more games played. So it looks like 1,600 runs is more, but when you do it per, I got it bad, but per plate appearance, it might not be. So all we're doing is just runs divided by plate appearances. I copy this down, and now all these numbers look real close, but what we're going to do, we can rank it. So we do, formula is called rank. See, And what are we ranking? We're ranking this number in this whole column, and this ranks 10th, so I'm going to copy this down. So if we look, run scored, it looks like the Colorado Rockies are number one. For run scored, let's see who's number two. Well, here's three, the Reds. So a lot of runs scored there. And here's number two, Texas. Yeah, it's quite a bit. And let's see who's one of the worst ones, the Pirates. And the worst one here, the Tampa Bay Rays. So it's the least amount of run scored. But let's see if it r relates to the same for fantasy points. It probably will be close. So fantasy points divided by at-bats. We're copying this down. And then here, let's do rank. And we've got, we're ranking this number in this whole range. So we're ranking G3 in G colon G. Press enter. They rank sixth. Copy down. We don't really need all these decimal places to zero, so we get them out of there. So now let's take a look. So the Rockies were number one in run score, number one in fantasy points. So a lot of these are pretty much the same. Cincinnati Reds, the same. Let's see if Texas is number two. Yep, they're number two in fantasy points. So it's it's pretty uh, even. So most of the runs, I mean, we know where the runs are scored. It's not too much too shocking to find out that the Rockies have the highest scoring team. Now what we can do. Actually, we're going to go down here to the bottom. Well, first, let me go up to View, Freeze Panes. I like to freeze the panes so I know what I'm looking at here. So I want to total up the runs. Just total up the runs scored and total up the at-bats. And then the runs per at bat is uh, right here. And actually, let's see. Actually, I want to do this for, for fantasy points. So I'm just going to copy this sum right over. So here's fantasy points. There's how many fantasy points scored. So I want to kind of want to see what the percentage is. I'll show you what I mean in a second. At, um, at each stadium. So the fantasy points per at bat, we're just going to copy this formula down. So the average is 2.31 fantasy points per plate appearance is scored 
on average at all the stadiums over was it almost a million uh, fantasy points how many bats 365,000 plate appearances so 2.31 is the average so let's take the let's make this formula here which will be this number divided by 2.31 which is what we figured out and minus one minus one is just so we don't get the ink inc the uh, total we get the increase or decrease so when I copy this down we can kind of see in Colorado for, there's 14 percent more fantasy points scored than normal so when the same in Cincinnati there's nine percent more fantasy points than scored than normal and we can see like here if you're playing it um, in Miami expect to score about six percent less so that's that's pretty good that can help you with your projections but one thing I like to look at too is road team because okay Colorado I mean obviously they score a lot of points but they got a lot of good hitters too on the team and if you got a lot of great hitters on the team it could kind of skew the results because I mean out of 81 games in a season you got no I mean Nolan Arenado uh, playing 81 times there I mean if you get some great hitters playing it can kind of, it might screw the results I don't know for sure so what I want to do is look at just the road teams like how do the road teams do in Colorado how do the road teams do in all these teams because then it's kind of a even sample of like whole mess of players instead of just 50% of them being the same players like it's always the Colorado Rockies playing at home obviously so we're going to kind of do the same thing we're going to do fantasy points we're not going to look at runs now I just want to look at fantasy points so here this is we definitely have to do some ifs because we're going to look at two criteria so we got some ifs and the sum range is going to be fantasy points so I'm going back over here to batters tab and highlighting fantasy points FanDuel points uh, the criteria range the first one is the team so I'm highlighting that I'm going back to stadium here the second criteria though is let's go over here to where it says the venue we're going to highlight the venue and we only want road players because we only want when players are on the road to come in we don't want to look at the, the home players and let's see if that makes a difference so I press enter so here's how many fan, uh, fan fantasy points are scored 13,000 compared to see there's 28,000 in total so it looks like I mean it looks like the home team scored more points than the road teams anyway so we're going to copy this down let's do the same formula here and we're going to cop do the uh, at bats well let's do plate appearances where is it plate appearances then the next criteria is the home team being this cell and then the next criteria is the venue and the criteria and the criteria is we want road hopefully I'm not going too fast if I am just pause the video and you can copy the formula so now we've got here's our plate appearances for the road teams and now we're gonna check out points divided by at bats so here we go 2.19 remember we said 2.31 was the average before let's look at what the average here is so we're going to sum this up we're going to sum up the plate appearances 185,000 and let's see what the average is 2.25 so it's it's a little bit less road team score slightly less and actually we didn't do the rank let's do a I'm gonna insert a column here I'm gonna do the rank so this is this I feel is more of the true uh, determining factor of like what stadiums are the best because we're looking at the all, just the road players so we're ranking this in column L we're actually
Whoops. Hold on. Let's start this over again. So we're ranking this in this range. I don't want it to go I have the 2.25, which is the average. So we're just doing it up for all the teams. Let's put dollar signs in front here so it's always looking at these. And then we can copy this down. Let's get rid of the zeros. And now let's see. So here is the initial rank that we did of fantasy points. Let me highlight that here. And then here's the rank by road team. And so here is Colorado Rockies. They're number one overall, but when road teams play, they're only number three. So it just shows that Colorado plays some a lot of great hitters that bump up their average overall. Who is the number one here? Let's see, number two is Cincinnati. Is it Texas? So Texas is number one for the highest scoring team. So that looks like it's the highest scoring stadium. Now, it doesn't exactly necessarily mean it's the highest scoring stadium because it's just facing the Texas pitchers who may suck. So that could be why there's a lot of runs scored. So there's a lot of things to kind of to kind of look at. So there's not really a true uh, factor. But let's also let's take the percentages here. So we've got this number divided by 2.25, which we said was the average, minus 1. I'm going to copy this down. And here, so looks like Cincinnati, they score 13% more. Same with Texas, scores 13% more than the average. Uh, Tampa Bay, you're going to score 12% less when you're when, if you're a road team. Uh, like here, too, the Dodgers going into the... Uh, Dodgers, you're scoring 12% less, but you're also probably because you're facing Kershaw a lot in these two years. But, I mean, these are still good stats to have. And before I finish, I just want to look at lefties and righties. Uh, I know this video is kind of going a little long, but I might as well just finish this up while, while we're going here. So I'm just going to copy this whole formula right here. I'm going to press Control C and I'm going to put it here. Control V. Enter. So now it's the same amount of fantasy points but let's add in one more criteria. So I'm going to do comma. Go to the batters and we're going to look at this hand here. Comma. We want lefties. Press Enter. So here they score 4,022 points, the lefty score. Now let's go over to the at-bats. Let's copy this one over. There. I'm going a little fast here, but all I'm doing is just copying the, the numbers. And you have to copy the exact formula into the formula bar. So you have so the reference, like all these formulas, stay the same. But now all we need to do is add in hand, which is column K, and we want to put L for lefty. So I copy this down. We're going to do again fantasy points divided by at bats. I'm not going to do the rank, but I am going to sum this up because I want to see what the percentages are. So here's the totals. And the average is 2.27. Lefties on the road. So now, if I'm going to do the formula, this minus 2. Point, or divided by 2.27 minus 1 is 9% less. So now we get some bigger numbers here. So if you're a lefty going into Cincinnati, you score 22% more, more fantasy points than than the average. Just pretty huge, so I mean, it could be something you could look at to target. Colorado is always a little high here, and here's Tampa. If you're a lefty going into Tampa, expect to score 17% less. So basically, 
we're going to fade all, <laughs> all lefties in Tampa. And we'll just do the righties real fast. I'm just going to go quick just so we can get the numbers. I think you kind of get the hang of what I'm doing here. So I'm going to here and just copying it right into the formula bar. And now instead of L, we want righties. I'm going to copy this over. I'm just pressing Control C to copy it. Control V to paste it. Make this righty. Now we've got fantasy points per at bat. Let's see what the total is here. Two point two five, so the righties will score slightly less. Now, if we do our little formula, let's see fantasy points divided by the average, minus one, and there we go. So now, like, look at the Indians. If you're a righty going into Cleveland, expect to score fifteen percent less, but lefties are roughly the same, the three percent. So this is kind of some good stats here to, to kind of know. And same with, this is huge too. I mean, lefties going into Cincinnati score 22% more. Righties are basically about the same. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I'm definitely going to be using these stats when I'm picking uh, picking my players this year. And uh, I'm checked out down below for the links links to uh, my spreadsheet school it'll kind of go through a lot of using spreadsheets to help with your research speed up the time and uh, pick better lineups it's uh, at spreadsheetschooldfs.com and also I have links to my uh, spreadsheet lineup optimizer my uh, um, big big ball data where we get the data and uh, and a bunch of other things so hope you like this uh, video went a little long but hope, hope uh, you guys have a great day thanks